hello it's been a very very long time so it's sunday morning i'm just off to eat it to meet eat you need a you need to be well hungry to eat ian to meet ian it's been way too long let me explain I'll explain after this hill so I've only managed to do two rides in November one in December one in January long-term viewers will remember I've had this on off cough for a very long time which is attached to bronchiectasis which is some kind of physical damage quite low down in my lungs and it was uh, it's been basically a particularly bad flare-up it started early October a bit before I went to see the wheelers and they finished me off forcing me to ride in the wind and the rain you know it's all their fault basically got progressively worse been stuck in this loop back and forth with the doctors saying oh it's just bronchiectasis just gotta live with it it's just what it is but you know your own body don't you and it was way worse than anything I've ever had over the years it became actually really debilitating and I even had two days off work which is probably only the second time in about 20 years I've taken time off to be ill. Just before Christmas it was particularly bad and uh, it was very very close from thing between calling an ambulance going to hospital. I had I guess breathing difficulties which were I would say they were pretty bad not severe but pretty bad I was really struggling even just to walk up the stairs um, and I was really struggling to get my breath in which is quite scary when you've never had it before. So I had a, a couple of false dawns where I thought it was more or less better, but uh, then relapsed, got worse again. And it seemed like with rest staying in the warm, it eased off. But as soon as I stopped moving, get out in the cold, go and do stuff and talk, it makes me cough. So what has been a very long story, I won't bore you with <coughs> all of the details off, but essentially, I don't know 100% if it's a time thing, it's, it's like four months since it started, but uh, I've had acupuncture, cupping, and an experimental new inhaler, but I take three times a day. And some combination of those has fixed it, hopefully. So as I say, this is my, uh, my third ride since the uh, beginning of December fifth ride since the beginning of November so I'm uh, distinctly unfit and I think this one's gonna make my legs ache but the plan is to go 30 miles to a new cafe that I found which is quite interesting more on that later that's my tale of woe can be cheerful now I'm back on the road to recovery all I need to do is get fit and get on the bike and do some proper riding stuff make some plans for the year a few things to tick off in a moment make the most of this beautiful February morning at the moment it feels uh, slightly worryingly easy easier than I expected after such a layoff thought it would be like starting again <coughs> but I may be having a slight tail and crosswind which could be fudging the issue so I don't want to get myself lulled into a false sense of security coming back from where we're going to is broadly some very very long drags up slight inclines and I've got a history with it of trying to do it when I'm knackered into a headwind. As I was a bit, a bit out of practice, 
wasn't sure hang it, how long it's going to take me to get here but I'm actually a minute early Hello Anyway. Morning, Paul. Right. Hello mate, who are you? I can't remember what you look like. Paul has just started riding, so we're going to take it nice and steady. Right, yeah. I've just been telling my viewers I've done four rides since the beginning of November. You sounded better mate. It's anyway. them wheelers fault. They killed me in Bournemouth. How are you then mate? Are you good? Um, I think I'm alright, but I said that before, didn't I? You did, you did. And then so I was coughing again. The wind. Yeah, I didn't look at the wind. I mean, the wind's this great coming this way. Yeah, I know. That's probably why it was felt really easy so far. Going that way. So it's been a while then, mate. It has been too long, Paul. I know. But you're sounding a lot better, mate. That well, I can sounds... breathe or something. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> 10 times better. Yeah. But it's worst if I just breathed in slightly heavily, that would make me cough. So riding the bike was totally out of the question. But it's quite a nice day. Yeah, do you know what I got up this morning? I thought, yeah, it's going to be warm out, but then there's a breeze. So hopefully by the time we've done, it will be... Uh, yeah, and uh, but I didn't look at the wind at all when I planned the route. No. So we will have a bit of a crossing headwind back, won't we? Oh well. And there's been a murder around the corner. There has. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the road was closed off. I noticed it the other day, and they found a body in a field. Don't know who it is. No. Just around the corner of my house, isn't it? Yeah. It's a guy with some tattoos on his arm. Where police are looking for if anybody knows it. And. Um, the strange thing about it is that a couple of nights before, people were knocking on people's door in our village, yeah, asking whether they heard anything. Ah. So was somebody covering it up, or was it uh, the police? Because they said yeah. they posed at the police, but they had no ID on it. Sounds dodgy, whatever. It does sound dodgy. Is there some sort of gangland murder? I don't know. So we've got Bruce and Colin with us and we're heading to Greylees village which is just near Stamford. Stamford? It's not near Stamford at all, just near Sleaford and uh, it's a former site of Rawsby Mental Hospital but um, I think, I'm going to say closed down 25 years ago, maybe 30 and has broadly been redeveloped into a housing estate. And on it was an old chapel that fell into disrepair and was restored in the autumn last year and is now open as a coffee shop, cafe venue space. It's very nice, very funky, you'll like it, I'll show you. that lot was the old uh, mental hospital yes. or was asylum it like? as it, it like? used to be yeah. did you have well, room, room in there one day yeah frequently yeah I, i've actually i went in there when uh, my ex-wife's mother uh, resided in there yeah oh, it was a grim place yeah i'm surprised that those haven't been restored into apartments and things though because they're all still left look there's loads of them they built the new houses but yeah. all of this is still the old stuff. I never realised this was here. The church was virtually derelict and they've spent a fortune on that. Yeah, that opened in, clean, opened in October, it? yeah. Well, you mean he's going to church on Sunday? Sunday yes, again. definitely. Remembered your lock number. Do you remember it to unlock them? Yeah. yeah you sure? Yeah. Got it um, saved on your phone or in your wallet or? It was. You write it on the lock, mate. That's what you want to do for next time. Yeah, I'm going to. Stop it. I know the number. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was um, Yeah. Should we just mention that Paul went the wrong way or oh, should, yeah. should we keep that quiet well keep that quiet i think his uh, wahoo wasn't working properly no i think it's a wahoo issue don't you issue 
Yeah. Do you think, do you think it's a Wahoo? Come on, yeah, Colin, get Roy, in. You know, Roy, Roy has the same problem. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but me and you use Garmin. Oh, yes. You so, can't beat Garmin. Yeah, Garmin is obviously, you know, that, that's how we should go the right direction. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> But it was at, it was actually that I didn't hear it because I think you were probably talking in my ear, distracting <laughs> me away from that. Yeah. It told me the right way, but I just didn't hear it. I had uh, it's interference. Gonna be, it's going to be an exciting new year this year, Paul, isn't it, for cycling? You've got loads of stuff. And also the other variety yeah, of two-wheel that you're going to be doing. Yeah, scooter racing. Scooter and, racing. Uh, you're going bikepacking, aren't you? Yeah, and we're going bikepacking. And you're, and you're also drives. you're gonna you're gonna be doing a bit BSSO stuff as well, aren't you? Maybe. So an ideal way to spend a Sunday morning, Sunday morning on a bike ride, going to church. Hey, it's such kind of church I'd like to go to. Just coffee. Yeehaw. No, but you do that under a bridge. Oh, we're under trees though. That's not the same. Oh no. Bruce is taking us off route, exploring. Yeah. Bruce says we need to go exploring. This way he's not on the route, but he's intrigued. So we've, we've got to go this way. Who knows where we're going to end up now. Could be fatal. Could be exciting. Who knows? It's a very, very head windy. Just found a a perfect shelter if you're out bike packing and get caught. Check that out lot. Could spend the night in there, be cosy. Yeah. Hey are Colin, that's where you can stay overnight on a bike packing trip. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I'm not sure about that. You would well you need a sleeping bag, would you? Ian. Ah. Campsite for you for bike packing. Oh yeah. You could keep down in there, couldn't you? I reckon that's called glamping, isn't it? Yeah that's glamping. Hey, that's luxury. Yeah. It's a bit head windy. That's why you don't want to go down here. Yeah. Be exposed, wasn't it? All way up. I was just going to suggest we went that way. I'm all right. Bruce said it would be a good idea to go that way. He said it'd be diagonal into the wind. You're not looking convinced. No, that's not a convinced face, is it? Yeah. He's gone into his silent mode. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. silent before he snaps. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've missed this, haven't you? I have, mate. It's yeah. been... Through the gate. We momentarily lost Ian, but we found him. We're going by my second home up here. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit small for you, though, wasn't it? Yeah, no, up here yeah. on the right hand side. Yeah, it's a maybe. bit small for you. You'll see it. Yeah. Nothing. I never saw a thing. No, no, you can't, you can't see a thing at all. I'm gonna have to go back because it won't catch me breaking any rules. Camera anyway. I'm just a rule breaker, I'm afraid. Do you know what, Paul? If rules wasn't to be broken, no, you wouldn't exist. We're all walking, aren't we? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course we will. I'll, uh, in the community now. You can't do stuff like this. I'll, 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 put, I'll put the uh, the camera down while we walk. Yes. Oh, you have to kind. Bruce is walking. Colin's walking. It's just us going to walk then. Yeah. 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 Okay. You're not riding, are you? You're walking. No. I've got one foot on the ground. You'll wait for me down there because obviously I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cycle down. Come four blades. Yep. 
so 25 miles in now starting to feel a bit on my legs you know when you've not ridden for a while you lose that fitness seven miles to go Ian lives just around the corner so I suspect we'll be dropping him off no, I just want to make the most of it so you riding back to Grantham then with me just to you know with me? yeah just keep me company and then you can ride back with a tailwind uh, unfortunately I can't mate has that all that walking tied you out? yeah, yeah. I've, um, I've got a very important meeting with a sofa and a TV control I've got some new coffee Ethiopian coffee, it's very nice. Oh, oh. From Two Chimps Roastery in Oakham. Good, Good to see you, mate. mate. Yeah. Right. And uh, look forward to the next one. Yeah, see you soon. Very nearly home now. It's got a mile to go. Still got headwind. Legs are feeling it. So I'll have done 32 and a half miles by the time I get back. So it's a little bit easier than I thought. If it wasn't for the wind, I think I'd have been quite comfortable. But as a first proper ride back to rebuild my strength up, not been too bad at all. So I'm not going to make any rash promises and say I'm going to be back in, back to uh, one or two videos a week. But hopefully I can get back on the bike more regularly now and get some videos coming back to the channel. So thanks as always for watching. See you again, hopefully before too long.